this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. I am so excited about the news that Practical Magic 2 is happening. So Practical Magic is a movie that came out in the 90s. The movie Practical Magic was based off of the book Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. It's the first book in her series about the Owens women. Sally and Jillian are sisters. In the movie, they're played by Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock both of whom are returning for Practical Magic 2. Alice Hoffman also wrote The Rules of Magic. The Rules of Magic is about Franny and Jet Owens, who are also sisters, and they are Jillian and Sally's aunts. There's also Magic Lessons, which is about Maria Owens, who was the first Owens woman to be a witch. The last book in the series is called The Book of Magic. This is a sequel to Practical Magic chronologically. So it goes back to Sally and Jillian and then it incorporates their daughters as well. And I'm really hoping they use this one as the basis for Practical Magic 2. Today's video is inspired by the 90s witch Practical Magic aesthetic. So I'm gonna show you some basic pieces that you can put together. I think 90% of the pieces I'm gonna show you today were secondhand finds in honor and in gratitude and celebration of the announcement of the sequel. So let's get started. The first piece I'm going to show you is an actual vintage dress from the 90s. It is a black midi floral. This piece really feels very Sally to me because of the floral print. Anytime I think Sally, I think botanical, floral. She's a gardener. She practices a lot of natural magic. She owns an apothecary. So Sally's look is always a little more nature-based. It's always a little more conservative than Jillian's. And it's always a little bit more practical. I've paired it with the platform Keds in a basic white, which I think Sally actually wears something similar in the the film. This piece is just a basic black and white. Always when you're going for witchy 90s or otherwise, you want black to be a real staple in the ensemble. There are buttons going down the entire length of the dress and then there's a split just above the knee. Sally would also likely have a very practical cardigan to pair any outfit with. Another iconic Sally outfit is the one from the kiss scene where she's gardening, the bell tolls, and she is so overcome by love that she runs and finds the man she loves and jumps into his arms. And we eat it up because this doesn't happen in real life. We have to live vicariously. So this is an homage to Sally's gardening outfit. She just has the summery cut off shorts. Uh, she's wearing more of a peasant top. I've got a white eyelet top on. Don't buy something new. It's just about paying homage and embracing that beautiful moment in the film. She's wearing her big green gardening boots, which I also have, but you could easily replace these with a pair of cowboy boots and this becomes something that's less functional and more something you could go out and actually wear. So with a Jillian outfit, you always have to remember, Jillian's power comes from her beauty. It takes confidence to wear a Jillian outfit. She would definitely go for mini skirts, spaghetti straps. Green is definitely her color. She has her signature tiger's eye crystal. I've paired this one with some platform heels with a snakeskin print. She is unafraid to draw attention to herself. So this is just a green velvet slip dress that I got uh, secondhand, maybe from Buffalo Exchange. So it was less than $20. This is not an expensive look to pull off. It's very confidence boosting and it's fun. This is a Realization Par dress that I got off of Poshmark, so secondhand. It is a really pretty navy with star prints, which makes it feel very witchy to me. I only wear this dress when I am feeling my most confident because it is lower cut than I usually go for and excessively short. Those are the things that makes it feel very Jillian to me. Anything that stretches your boundaries a little bit, I think can be categorized as a Jillian outfit. This outfit to me feels like we're hearkening back to the Jillian pool scene. I love that she's wearing something casual. She's just thrown a scarf on and used it as a skirt. It's an easy outfit, but it never betrays her style or takes away from her mystery. And I think you can easily achieve that with just a black tank top, any black tank top that you like, that you feel looks flattering on you. If you have a big scarf like this one, you can wear it as a skirt. You could also do this with a black mini slip dress or a black spaghetti strap dress and take any size scarf and just wrap it around your waist and you have a Jillian poolside look. 
that's all I got for you today. I'm so excited to hear more about Practical Magic 2, and I hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas for outfits to wear to bring out your 90s witch. See you next time.